What's up, my friends, neighbors, and um, dear people who follow this channel? This little channel, yeah, we're up to 32 subscribers. And today I want to show you this beautiful tree. This is a Melaleuca linarifolia. Linarii folia. There's two eyes somewhere in there. Um, and I love this tree. The bark is super corky and cushy. Super beautiful tree. Evergreen. It's in the Myrtaceae family uh, from Australia. And uh, this is actually a really good specimen. Um, the, these trees usually have a lot of dead wood inside the canopy. Um, and uh, they're kind of, kind of a, a dirty tree. They litter a lot. They have a lot of litter. Uh, in terms of uh, leaves and fluff uh, and they're usually uh, as many just like many other of the trees in this family they have uh, included bark and the branch pattern I'm not sure that you can see well here but there's a branch emerging out of there let's see if my finger works here this branch emerges there and it it follows, goes across the canopy and up. Okay, um, it's kind of a funky thing. Again, right there, that included bark, two co-dominant branches uh, growing in a similar girth. Anyway, it's a pretty cool tree. I'll show you a little more of the how it looks from the distance. But uh, I was up on one of these trees a few months ago doing that um the the bark the dead wood cleanup and i noticed that all between this papery corky bark there were um tons of aerial roots just um growing through the bark and capturing moisture uh, that i guess it gets accumulated in the in the bark um, I'm not sure how much water they can absorb in here let's see if we find some good roots there they are there they are okay and you'll see these tiny red roots all over uh, there's the the New Zealand Christmas tree uh, Metrosideris Excelsa, that one has a very prominent aerial roots that just hang down. Um, here we'll look at this next specimen next, next to it. Um, this one's got a little more dense interior canopy. It's not too much, but there's a lot of uh, dead leaves in there and twigs. Uh, and then a little bit of green at the ends. Okay, I... Uh, actually, really love these trees. We'll look at the flowers a little closer here since we have this good specimen here. Okay, let's see. Can we focus? So, there's uh, a cluster of flowers there, and the petals are these very frail, almost lace like things. They're about uh, five one, two, three, four, five petals in there. They're tiny. And then there, I think these are stamens, the little, oh, sorry about my camera work. These little frail things are stamens, I think, okay? And then the petal, uh, let's see, oh my goodness. See, you can put this like on the video if uh, you don't like how poorly I focus. But anyway, the, the whole, um, inflorescence creates this white pom-pom looking like thing at the tips okay and there we go here are the fruit as you can see they fruit and then they keep growing 
they're not terminal terminal blooms so the, the bud right there at the middle that will keep growing and extending as a branch when you have uh, blooms that they keep growing it's called intercalary uh, pattern it's an intercalary branching pattern Man, that's some hard work. I see them uh, driving those stinky trucks and, uh, you know, pushing and pulling these giant cans and dumpsters and they got to do it, man. They got to do it. Keep society running. Thank you very much. Okay. Nobody says thank you to these guys. It's a good, it's a good unionized job. So people just kind of disregard it sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to cross the street safely. Look both sides. Okay, we're safe, let's cross. And then we're gonna look at it from a little farther back. Okay, and there we got it. They call it snow in summer due to it being um, end of June. And it's full bloom. Looks like it got snowed on, right? You can see I'm a little late. Usually it's a little brighter white, uh, but uh, I looked at these trees a couple weeks ago and I was like, oh, they're, they're starting to bloom. I'm gonna wait until they're in full bloom to make a video. And now uh, it went past me a little bit and uh, now you can see them, the flowers starting to turn a little yellow. Um, I give them the, the common name of um, the broccoli tree when it's not in bloom. It's, it has that same shape, very compact canopy and a uh, very dense canopy and it has a um, it's all green and then it blooms and it becomes a cauliflower tree uh, but there's a lot of names for this the real name is Melaleuca linearifolia it's the linear leaf Melaleuca tea tree okay Melaleuca are the tea tree uh, when you go to the store and you buy that tea tree oil, that's from a different species. But the fragrance of this plant uh, and most of the family members of Myrtaceae are um, have a similar scent. Okay, uh, strong scent, um, tea tree scent. Uh, anyway, all right. I think that's it for the for the video thank you for watching if you like it hit the like button and subscribe for more videos if you didn't like it hit the dislike button and uh, leave me a comment um, if you have any questions that I didn't answer or if you have any complaints uh, or if you have anything nice to say I like that too and uh, I hope you're well and you have a safe weekend and enjoy the 4th of July. Okay, be well. Take care and plant more trees.